Hi, everyone. Welcome again to Ivy English. I'm Bruce. I'm Angela, and I'm Wesley. Today is June second, and for the three of us, this is our first lesson with you for the month of June. We have two short articles for you today. The first is "New Credit Card Aims to Cut Carbon Emissions." 我们的中文标题是首张以碳足迹为额度的信用卡 Duconomy, a Swedish fintech company in collaboration with the UN Climate Change Secretariat, and Mastercard, is launching a credit card to combat climate change. There are two versions of the card, which are expected to be released later this year. One will allow consumers to track the carbon footprint of their purchases, while the other, the Do Black, will cut you off once you reach the yearly carbon limit set on the card. In order to offset their CO2 emissions, cardholders can fund United Nations certified green projects that contribute to the reduction of global emissions. As Matthias Wickstrom, a co-founder of Duconomy, has stated, "This card is not about stopping spending, but is aimed at getting people to start understanding the impact their consumerism has on the climate." Okay, so Duconomy or Duconomy, a Swedish fintech company. Fintech is a fancy new name that I'm discovering that everyone likes using. <laughs> It's short for financial tech. And to be honest, I don't really understand <laughs> what fintech refers to. The fact that it's being used to describe a car, a company that also has a credit card, is confer is further confusing to me as to what fintech actually truly means. Because I've seen it used in so many different ways on the internet right now, and I'm not sure. I don't know if anybody truly understands. Well, you'll have to ask the person who dreamed it up. But <laughs>、uh, basically, it's what you guys do a lot of using the internet, using your mobile devices. Instead of waiting in line at a bank,、hmm. oh, you mean so moving your money around? It's just technology that moves money around. Is、Correct. what you're saying? It is okay. That's it. Anyway, so they're a fintech company. They move money around, not in paper form, and they're not a bank, I guess, or they must be. No, not necessarily. And in collaboration with the UN Climate Change Secretariat, a secretariat is. Not a person. It's a it's a department. It's one of the departments in the UN, and they're tasked with figuring out how to stop climate change. So they're collaborating with the UN and Mastercard to do what? To launch a credit card to combat climate change. Uh huh. We see this place. This is Duconomy. Ah, this is actually a company's name. Ah, maybe it's also called Duconomy. That Tom Wick tells you it's a Swedish. It's a Swedish. FinTech 啊，就是 Financial Technology 啊的这个简称，就是金融科技啊，所以它是一个瑞典的金融科技公司。那主持就是这个 Duconomy， 它怎么样呢？它 In cooperate 呃、uh, Collaboration with 哈、啊，就是和谁合作哈、啊、？Collaboration 这种合作感觉起来是需要付出努力的啊，需要大家这个呃一起努力用功，一起努力工作的哈、啊。所以它跟谁合作呢？和这个联合国的 Climate Change Secretariat 就是这个气候变迁秘书处啊 ，Secretariat 就是秘书处。还有他跟谁合作呢？跟 Mastercard 啊，跟这个万事达卡合作。那这个东西，这个 In collaboration with 这个整个片语也是修饰用的，也是副词片语。所以这句话它的主词 d u c o n o m y 之后，真正的动词现在才要出现，就是 is launching。所以 d u c o n o m y 他跟联合国气候变迁秘书处跟万事达卡合作，他们要干嘛呢？他 is launching 啊 ，launch 这个字呢，就是 to start a major activity 啊，可能是个 project 啊，可能是一个呃 public investigation 啊，也可能是个 a military attack 啊，都可以用 launch。所以他要发行，要开始一个 a credit card 一个信用卡，来干嘛呢 ？Combat 就是 fight against 就是对抗，对抗什么呢 ？Climate change 对抗气候变迁。So about this credit card, we continue. There are two versions of the card, which are expected to be released later this year. So it's not just it's one type of card, but it has two versions. The credit card by the Swedish fintech company,、uh, if you like, comes in two flavors, <laughs> and they are expected to be released both versions、uh, sometime later this year, 2020. 好，然后呢？ 
There are two versions. Ah, 有两个这个版本 of the card. 这个卡有两两个版本。好，那 which 就指这个 card， 这个卡呢？啊，它 are expected to 就是预计会啊，预计要怎么样啊？就它预期，也就是预计哈，要预计要怎么样 ？Be released. 要被发行，好 ，release 这个词可以表示发行啊。传统上面我会讲 release 啊，电影 film 啊，你也可以 release videos， 你可以 release CD 啊，你也可以 release 啊，那个唱片 albums 好，所以在这里就是发行的意思。所以这个卡片呢，预计今年 later this year， 今年稍晚啊，就今年晚一点啊，会出发行。One one card will allow consumers to track their carbon footprint of their purchases. Carbon footprint is how much carbon you release into the atmosphere by pr- producing an object, and if you buy that object, they're saying you're responsible for the carbon that was produced to make that object. And so there could be a carbon footprint of the objects that you buy, your purchases.、Um, it could not just be an object; it could also be, for instance, an airplane ride, which is all the kerosene that the airplane burns to carry you from one place to another is also a significant contrib- contribution to your carbon footprint. And so the other、uh, flavor, as we said, of credit card is the do black. And not only will it help you track your carbon footprint, it will cut you off once you reach your yearly carbon limit, as the card determines. Hmm. 好，所以我们可以看到说，这个有两个版本 ，two versions of the card。我们刚刚讲过，那第一个版本，它接下来告诉你说 ，one will allow。其中一个版本，它会允许，它会让 consumers， 就是消费者 ，to track。去追踪啊 ，the carbon footprint 就是碳足迹啊，追踪他们买的东西的碳足迹啊。他这里讲的 carbon footprint of their purchases， 啊 ，purchase 它可以当动词购买，那当名词的话是可数名词，就是 something that you buy。所以这地方是复数的，就你他们买的东西啊，当然不会是只有一个，他们买的东西的碳足迹，他们这个卡可以帮他们追踪。While the other, while 就是用来对比 the other 啊，我们有的 one 有两两张卡，其中一个是 one， 另外一个就是 the other。所以 ，while the other 另外一张卡，另外一个版本呢是 the do black。好，那它会怎么样呢？这个 will cut you off， 它会把你切断，也就是会冻结你的卡。Once you reach the yearly carbon limit， 好，就是你一旦到达 reach， 你到达了这个 yearly 一年度的 carbon 啊，这个 limit 就是年度的碳的限度。那所以它一年限你有多少碳足迹？那这个限度怎么样？是 set on the card。set 就是设定。On the card, 卡上所设定的，所以要看你的卡的这个设定多少多少碳足迹的额度。你一用到用满那个额度啊，它就不让你用了，就冻结了。In order to offset their CO2 emissions, cardholders can fund United Nations certified green projects that contribute to the reduction of global emissions. To offset something is to compensate for or to make up for something. Uh, the something is usually bad or negative in some way,、uh, say a loss or something that's simply bad, like bad behavior,、uh, and you make up for it. You do something good. You do something positive. So CO two emissions, which contribute to global warming, are considered bad. And if you want to offset your personally produced CO two emissions, if you have one of these cards, you can fund. You can、uh, purchase items or give money to the United Nations certified green projects. Green projects are those which are trying to improve our environment and reduce、uh, climate change. These projects contribute, as I just mentioned, to the reduction.、Uh, they are lessening global emissions.、Uh, if you have a choice to buy. Between two items, one of which has less CO2 emissions or fewer CO2 emissions, then if you choose that one, you are offsetting or compensating for your own personal、uh, <laughs> CO2 emissions、uh, just by breathing, by by eating, by purchasing objects. Hmm. 好，所以呢，我们看到他说 ，in order to 就是目的，为了要怎么样 ，offset 就是抵消或者是弥补，为了要抵消啊 ，there。他们的这个二氧化碳的 emissions 排放，那那个他们是谁呢？这英文有特有种特别的用法，就是它的代名词可以先出现，它的主词啊，它的代所带的这个名词通常就是后面那个子句的主词啊。那看到它，所以这个 there 就是指这个下一个主要子句，就
。接下来这个主要子句的主词就是 card holders， 所以这些持卡人为了要抵消他们的这个二氧化碳的排放呢，这个持卡人可以干嘛呢 ？Card holders can fund fund 就是资助哈，提供资金。To provide money for something, ah, which is something that costs a lot, ah, so this they can provide money to the United Nations certified, that is, United Nations certified, ah, certified is certified. So they can provide money to the United Nations certified, ah, certified is certified. So they can provide money to the United Nations certified, ah, certified is certified. So they can provide money to the United Nations certified, ah, certified is certified. So they can The reduction of global emissions 有贡献，对于减少全球碳排放会有贡献的这些绿色环保计划，好，那 c a l l h o l d e r s 可以资助这些经过联合国认证的这些减少全球碳排放的这个绿色环保计划。And as Matthias Wickstrom, a co-founder of d o c o n o m y has stated, d o c o n o m y This card is not about stopping spending, but is aimed at getting people to start understanding the impact their consumerism. Has on the climate, so this is a card. This project is about awareness,、mm-hmm. and that's good. That's fine. That's well. But we have to go beyond awareness at this point to actually doing something about it. So、mm-hmm. it's good that at least they fund the United Nations Certified Green Projects or whatever. But honestly, everyone knows it's a problem at this point. If you don't know, you're willfully ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> so、yeah. like we have to do something, not just be aware.、Mm-hmm. 好，所以呢，这个其实还要采取更积极的行动了。不过至少这个信用卡是一个开始啊，它让你了解，当然有人 aware 啊，说这个现在地球碳排放的问题很严重了。好，所以我们看到这个句，他说 ，as Matthias 啊，这个 w i c k s t r o m 这个人，他是谁呢？同一个东逗点，在同一个告诉你，他是一个 a co-founder 啊 ，co-founder 就是这个共同创办人 of d u c o n o m y 那他怎么样呢 ？Has stated 这个是主要动词，他说过。他说：“这个卡 is not about， 就这个卡的重点不在于这个 is not about。类似中文讲的啊，这个重点不在于，所以它的重点不在于 stopping stand、uh, spending， 它的重点不在于停止消费，而是啊 ，but is aimed at。所以这个 is not about 什么什么 ，but 怎样怎样啊 ，but is 在这里啊，它是这个不是重点不在于停止消费，而是在于目的是在 is aimed at， 就是它的目标是在 getting 让人们。” Ah,、uh, getting people to start, 让人们开始 understanding, 开始了解到 the impact 就影响 their 这个后面省略一个 impact that their consumerism has. 好，所以 consumerism 就是消费主义。所以他要让消费者了解到，让人们了解到说，他们的消费主义或者消费的这种想法呢，有什么样的 impact? 哈 ，on the climate. 啊、uh, ，on the climate. 所以这个呃、uh, ，on 是接那个 impact. 所以要了解他们对于。这个气候，他们的消费主义对气候有什么样的 impact? Okay, turn the page with us now. Let's look at our second short article for today. British royal drama captivates the world. 好，我们的中文标题是《哈利·梅根退出皇室，将不再使用殿下头衔》。好，那当然，这个中文的这个标题不是英文标题的翻译。哈，英文标题里面有一个很很棒的字 ，captivate。好 ，captivate 这个字就是。吸引大家的注意，哈 ，to attract or interest， to attract or interest someone very much， 好，所以 captivate 就让大家这个全部被他吸引住了。Yeah， you can't stop watching it。哦，对啊，你没有办法不看哈，这个大家都在注意这件事情的意思。All right， I'll read through it. Please listen carefully. After a surprise announcement in January from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex that they would step back as senior royals. The world watched intently as the story unfolded over the following month. In a statement released on January eighth, twenty twenty, the couple stated they would work to become financially independent, and that going forward, they intended to split their time between the United Kingdom and North America. Following subsequent discussions with the Queen and other senior royals, the decision was made that. The pair would not use their H R H titles or receive public funds for royal duties. The Duke and Duchess also agreed to repay the roughly U S three million dollars in public funds that they recently spent refurbishing their U K residence, Frogmore Cottage. Okay, so there was a surprise announcement in January. Um, from the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are 
the second son of Lady Di and um, his wife. His wife, who I can't remember. She's a, a famous movie or television star. She stars in the movie, the Suits. She's in Suits. Not that famous. <laughs> <laughs> famous enough that she knows what it is like to be in the public eye for most of your life. Okay, so these two have been in the public eye for most of their lives. They know how painful and difficult it is to be that public, that people feel ownership over your lives. Yes, I know the feeling. And also, <laughs> because the Duchess of Sussex is black, she's been treated very deeply unfairly by the British press. They have been calling her out for stuff that is perfectly fine when other royals do it, but suddenly she is the devil for doing the exact same thing. There is, like, you can go on the internet and find these comparisons. Anyways, the British press is being horribly racist on top of being incredibly invasive to their personal lives. But here's the thing. The British royals have made a deal. They're like, we will continue to use public funds, and then we will be your circus monkeys. That is the deal for the British royals. And they're like, you know what? We're not taking this deal anymore. And that's a really interesting step. And that is why the world is watching intently. They're stepping back as senior royals. They're not using their privileges, but they're all, and they're also not taking money. And then they're also saying, so now you guys can't look into our private lives. We're moving to Canada. Bye. Mm. And this whole story unfolded over a month, and it was very interesting. I didn't closely watch it, but you know, you see bits about it in the news. Okay, ah, so this, I think, I think this thing, you all are probably more clear about it, because I saw this news, I didn't want to watch it. Ah, it's their business. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, but it's interesting because they're saying it's our business anymore. We're not going to be performing our lives in public for you anymore. Okay, and it's an interesting step. Yeah, 不过大概很多人对这，尤其王子公主哈、啊、这种皇室的婚姻，很多人都是很有兴趣的哈、啊。所以这个呃，每个人都有他自己喜欢或者注意的事情嘛哈、啊。那不过我们可以来看看这个句子哈、啊。他说，在一个 surprise announcement， 在一个呃，令人意外的一个宣布啊，这个是在一月的这个呃宣布。好、啊，这个地方呢 ，surprise announcement 啊，它跟 surprising announcement 它的差别可，可我想大概在 surprising 比较强调它的效果。Surprising、right? is that people feel surprised to hear it, but a surprise announcement means it comes out of the blue. We didn't expect it. Surprising is about the feeling. Surprise is about the timing. Yeah， 所以 surprise 是跟 timing 有关哈。啊那所以，我刚刚讲这个 surprising 就是它的效果，就让大家觉得哦，好意外哦。但 surprise 的话， surprise announcement 就它出来的时间，这个时机的问题。好，所以这个有一点点不一样。那 surprise 可以这样用，最最常见的应该就是 surprise party 啊，就是你会那个时机，你没有想到会有个 party， 哎，怎么会有一个 party？ 好，或者 surprise attack 啊，一个这个奇袭哈，军队上面的奇袭哈。好，所以这是一个令人意外，这个时机来的非常的令人意外哈。那这个呃，沙塞克斯公爵，好，还有这个公爵夫人呢，啊，他们 announcement， 他们说怎么样？他们会 step back， 就是退出，好 ，as senior royals， 就高级的皇室成员啊，他们就他们不再当要卸任，他们不再当这个高级皇室成员的。好，那在这个 announcement 出来之后呢，全世界 watched， 就观看 intently， 在这里就是目不转睛的意思啊，目不转睛的观看啊。那你如果说是 listen。啊、uh, ，listen to someone intently， 那就是非常专心的观的听的意思。所以 intently 有那种专心，非常专心的意思啊。所以全世界很专心，目不转睛的看。As the story unfold， 看随着这个故事开展 ，unfold 就是开展。好 ，over the following month， 好，接下来的这个月故事怎么开展，大家都在看。In a statement released on January eighth, twenty twenty, the couple stated they would work to become financially independent. And that going forward, they intended to split their time between the United Kingdom and North America. So they released a statement in which they stated, "That's what you do in a statement." They said very clearly they would work to become financially independent. They would, like most people, they would make their own way in the world. They would not take money from the、uh, government or the Queen's family. Going forward in the future, they intended. They expect to split their time, divide their time between living, visiting, or working in the United Kingdom and North America. That would be for them, Canada and the United States. 好，那我们看到接下来他说呢啊，在一个 statement， 那这个 statement 是 released on 这个在这一天所发一月八号，二零二零一月八号所发。
发布的一个这个呃 statement 啊，就是一个声明。那在这声明里面呢 ，the couple 就是这一对这个夫妇呢，他 stated that 啊，他们就说 they would work， 他们将会。Work to become， 他们将会工作，他们会自己出来工作啊。那 become financially independent， 就财务独立啊。也就是说，他们自己赚钱养活自己。这讲起来好像很很委屈或什么，但是他们两个赚钱一定很容易的啊。所以他们就这个，他们说啊，我们自己赚钱啊。And that going forward， 就是在在未来啊，在进入下一个阶段呢，他们将会怎么样 ？Intended to 啊 ，intend 就是。Intend to do something, 就是 to have a plan in mind to do something. 啊，他们计划，他们想要怎么样呢 ？Split their time between 就把他们时间在这两个之间做分配。啊，哪两个呢？一个是 the United Kingdom， 就英国；另外一个是 North America， 北美。Following subsequent discussions with the Queen and other senior royals, the decision was made that the pair would not use their HRH titles, that is, the His or Her Royal Highness title, which only people, certain privileged people, may use. And they may not also receive public funds for royal duties. They probably still have to do the royal duties, but they won't get paid for them. Hmm. Good. So following is after the is. Ah, in what? After that, in subsequent, subsequent, subsequent is after the. Ah, following in time or order. In the next discussions, discussion, and not once or twice discussion. Ah, discussions with the queen. Ah, 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 with the queen. Royals, 这个高级的皇室成员，例如说他的 brother 之类的哈。那 the decision was made that 就是做了一个决定。The decision was made that 这个决定的内容是 that the pair 这一对夫妇呢 would not use their 将不能使用他们的 H R H 就是这个殿下的 titles 的这个称名称啊，或者他们也不能 receive， 他们也不能接受 public funds。公共的资金 for royal duties 啊，一些皇室的职责，他们也不能啊，可能会要需要去做某一些皇室的职责，但是他们不能再拿钱，或者是根本就不能拿钱的。The Duke and Duchess also agreed in these discussions to repay to pay back the roughly three million U.S. dollars in public funds. That is money that comes from the U.K. government that they recently spent refurbishing. That is when you update、uh, a home and and repair it so it's like new and and great to live in again. Their UK, their United Kingdom residence, which is called charmingly Frogmore Cottage. 好，所以呢，这公爵跟公爵夫人呢，他们也同意要 repay， 就偿还大约 roughly 大约是美金三百万元的这个政府基金 public fund 就政府基金。那这个钱是干嘛呢？是他们 recently spent， 他们最近才花费的 refurbishing 就是装修啊，所以哇，三百万美金就是装修而已哈。<笑>这个三百万美金可以买很好的房子哈，所以这对夫妇手笔也蛮大的哈。然后，所以他们以后一定很容易赚钱的哈。所以他说要装修他们的这个 UK 在英国的这个 residence 啊，就是寓所啊，居所或者住居。然后，童伟哥告诉你，这个住居还有名字的，叫 Frogmore Cottage。Okay, that's it for today's two articles. We hope you enjoyed and learned something from both of them. Until the next time.